It's on. Now the number crunching before the Monday showdown. I do not believe that uh, Prime Minister Gillard can lead the Australian Labor Party to success in the next election. We need a leadership ballot in order to settle this question once and for all. It could happen again. The coroner's finding into the Christmas Island asylum boat tragedy. And the Ollie Roos out of the Olympics for the first time in nearly 30 years. Good evening, Ben Knight with ABC News. The Prime Minister's put her job on the line, calling for a leadership ballot to be held on Monday. Kevin Rudd has stopped short of saying whether he'll challenge, but he's asked Australian voters to back him. With the latest, let's go to our Chief Political Correspondent, Mark Simkin in Canberra. Welcome to Parliament House. The Labor Party is tearing itself apart. Ministers loyal to the Prime Minister spent the day ripping into Kevin Rudd, and it's personal. Julia Gillard accuses her former leader of chaos, paralysis and sabotage. She and her supporters want Monday's caucus ballot to crush him and his ambitions forever. The Australian Labor Party is at war and it's hardly civil. Kevin Rudd, as Prime Minister, always had uh, very difficult and very chaotic work patterns. Julia Gillard launched an intercontinental strike, accusing her former leader of betraying her and his party. The 2010 election was sabotage. Uh, we went into that election in very difficult circumstances uh, as a result of the you know, months of paralysis and chaos under Mr Rudd's leadership. The Prime Minister's spoiling for a fight. Uh, I'm not listening to this rudeness. I'll answer your question and then I'll give a question to your colleague. I'm not going to have you just speak to me like this. End of sentence. The real confrontation will come Monday morning. A ballot for the leadership of the party and the country. If against my expectation I do not receive the support of my colleagues, then I will go to the backbench and I will renounce any further ambition for the Labor leadership. I anticipate that Mr Rudd will also be a candidate in this ballot, I ask him to give the same undertaking. He hasn't given that undertaking. Gentlemen, the elevator, you can't hold Sir. the elevator. Some of his supporters are privately urging a second challenge if the first fails. I do not believe that uh, Prime Minister Gillard can lead the Australian Labor Party to success in the next election. That is a deep belief. I believe it's also a view shared right across the Australian community. The former Prime Minister made a long distance pitch for his old job, appealing to caucus and the public. It's about people's power and the people of Australia have a view on the future leadership of their country. I would urge each and every one of them to make that view known across the country. Pick up the phone, talk to MPs, talk to your media outlets, express your view. He won't say if he's challenging until he returns to Australia. Oh, this folks, bye. But he's still portraying himself as a saviour. They regard me as the best prospect to lead the Australian Labor Party successfully to the next elections, to save the Australian Labor Party at those elections and to save the country from the ravages of an Abbott government. I think we need to get out of this idea that Kevin is a messiah who will deliver an election back to us. Ministers who sat around the cabinet table with Kevin Rudd ripped into the man they've previously publicly defended, exposing the hatreds at the heart of this government. But the truth is that Prime Minister Rudd is deeply flawed. Uh, he has great weaknesses, great weaknesses which uh, to date have not necessarily been seen in public. Hooking into one another in highly vicious personalised attacks, I don't think, is Australian. It's the start of a coordinated shredding of Kevin Rudd's character and legacy, an attempt to destroy any chance of a second or perhaps third coming. When Kevin Rudd talks about a wave of uh, destabilisation and undermining of him, really he should just look in the mirror. There's been gratuitous political violence against the uh, against the Kevin Rudd over the last uh, uh, f week at least. There's more to come from both sides, with the Labor Party caught in the crossfire. And the battle is really only just beginning. For sheer numbers of publicly declared support, Julia Gillard is winning today. But as political correspondent Greg Jennett reports, there's nastiness all round. And Kevin Rudd's supporters say they've got many more backers ready to show their hands when it's time. There'll be many casualties in this campaign. 
The media is the first of them. Get off! Come forward! Come forward! A cameraman crush chasing the political story of the decade. This leadership showdown is on the air, everywhere, all the time. We may as well kiss tomorrow goodbye. It's minister on former minister. The one thing I do congratulate Kevin for is his resignation. I do. From Melbourne to Brisbane. The majority of Queensland MPs on the Labor side support Julia Gillard. The Prime Minister's supporters have led the way to declare themselves and denounce Kevin Rudd. Kevin, as leader, became someone who... Uh, for his colleagues, just became increasingly impossible to work with. People came to the conclusion they could not work difficult issues through uh, with the former Prime Minister. Well, like Stephen, uh, I'm a strong supporter of the Prime Minister, so I'm behind her 100%, always have been. My support on Monday will be very strongly with the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister has the overwhelming support of the caucus. Kevin Rudd's biggest supporter is turning the tables on her husband's enemies. The Australian people are sick of seeing this kind of undermining and, um, and uh, negative backgrounding about, about him. But she doesn't get a vote. Is he going to challenge? And yeah. secondly, does he have the numbers? I'm sorry, you have to ask other people that. Only a couple of ministers have broken out to publicly back the former foreign minister. I'll be supporting him. And I think that he will do uh, very, very well in this uh, coming ballot. In my opinion, Kevin Rudd is best placed to take on Tony Abbott and potentially best position us to win the next federal election. There have been a few backbenchers too, but his supporters say the wait for Mr Rudd's return and overt intimidation has many more sitting back for now. I'm not going to be intimidated. There's been all sorts of... Uh, threats made. There are all sorts of suggestions as to what will happen to people that take a different view. Kevin Rudd's campaign proper won't start until he reaches Australian soil. But even on a rushed schedule in the United States, he still found time to reach out to some of the crossbenchers he'd need to prop him up if he succeeds in tearing Julia Gillard down. What did he have to say? Hello, Tony. <laughs> Tony Windsor was one who took a call. He kept it brief. Well, I don't think Kevin Rudd will win. Uh, in fact, I nearly bet my house on that. Bob Brown was also on the receiving end. There was a tentative uh, call from uh, Kevin Rudd last night from Washington. It didn't come through. And this man's keeping his eye on the crossbenches too. There is now a great question before the independent members of parliament. Uh, are they prepared to let this shambles go on? Watch and wait till Monday. Greg Jennett. <laughs> ABC News, Canberra. So what do Australians make of the spectacle of their government imploding? Well, if voters in Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard's own electorates are anything to go by, they're sick of it. But as Francine Norton reports from Brisbane, the community seems as divided as the Labor Party on who should win. As Kevin Rudd's leadership tilt gathers steam, Brisbane cafe owner Glenn Higgs is getting excited. Personally, I want to see uh, my Prime Minister back, uh, Kevin Rudd. Many supporters in Kevin Rudd's Griffith electorate are still smarting from his unceremonious dumping two years ago. They believe he's a changed man. I think he'll actually be a much better Prime Minister this time around. But some voters in the Prime Minister's Melbourne electorate don't agree. I'm sick of hearing about Kevin Rudd, but go Julia. I think she's uh, doing a not bad job, yeah. There are others who feel let down. I'm just disappointed with the first Prime Minister female and she's let us down a bit. But in Kevin Rudd's backyard, Julia Gillard enjoys some support. I think she needs to be given a proper go and just to, everyone should just forget about Kevin. No, definitely not. Not for it at all. You can tell I'm not a Labor man, eh? <laughs> The bigger concern for voters is instability. Labor is suffering and it's showing in the mood of the electorate. Patience is wearing thin. They're a contagion of deceit and uh, they're going that way. So I make the decision and let's move on because I'm sick of, sick of hearing about it, yeah. At the end of the day, it's us, the Australians, who choose a leader, not the Labor Party. The federal leadership issue couldn't have come at a worse time for Labor in Queensland. It's week one of a five-week state election campaign and federal infighting is an unwelcome distraction for the Premier who's already on the nose with voters. Look, I really hope that for the sake of the country that uh, what happens on Monday settles this issue once and for all.
Queensland's Labor political future could depend on it. Francine Norton, ABC News, Brisbane. Kevin Rudd is up in the air tonight, flying back to Australia. He'll arrive in Brisbane tomorrow morning, turning a leadership soap opera into a media circus. The former Prime Minister will speak to his numbers men and women and is expected to announce his plans over the weekend. That's it from Canberra. There'll be further coverage at 7.30 and on all the ABC's news outlets. But for now, it's back to your local bulletin.